the Nigerian judiciary do their work independently and take decision for matter without any influence. Justice Tanko Muhammad, the Chief Justice of Niger, talked this one on Monday for the special session to mark the beginning of the 2019-2020 legal year and swearing in of 38 distinguished lawyers when they just give the honor of senior advocates of Niger. Abu Bakr Malame, the Minister of Justice for Inspiracy, made they use the new legal year to reflect on the achievement and limitation of the last Lega year. He said the deep reflection of the last Lega year, he did worthy of note, say, the administration of justice, he received votes for areas of anti uru policy drive. Paul Usoro, president of the Niger Bar Association, NBA, as the year say some members of the inner bar, they forget at times, say, the rank of sound at best with humility. He say not be news against, say, some law enforcement agencies. They get some year pleasure as they lock up lawyers and put in possible bail condition for their release. Earlier for our news, uh, Lolo Elegbe, one political analyst, is Shemoyans on top of this matter. What is the task before the judiciary in this new legal year? Um, I think the, for me, it's just one, really. Well, there are several, but I think the priority one should be restoring the independence of the judiciary um, in the even if it's from a perception point of view because the perception out there from most Nigerians is that the judiciary is not as independent as it should be but if, if, if the judiciary is saying one thing mm. and the perception they are insisting they don't think there is a need to you know change well, then the, they are because they are saying that they are independent that's the script. yeah well they would say that but if they really believe that then they're living in an alternative reality because the fact of the matter is that most people don't believe they're truly independent no nobody believes or well when i say nobody obviously i use that loosely but nobody believes that if um, a court is going to decide on a matter and the either whether it's the presidency or some other power block in the country once um, certain things done or certain decisions a certain way, um, they I don't I don't want to, I don't want to say the that they would be able to influence that, but the perception out there is that that independence um, that or that non-independence will have an impact on those judgments. Whether or not that's true is irrelevant in my opinion, but that's because that's the perception out there. Because even in law. There's a saying that not only must justice be done, justice must be it's seen, seen to be done, which means that even the law recognizes perception of whether or not justice has been done. So if that's the case, then the, uh, my, in my opinion, they should be, what they should be looking to do is restore the, the perception, even if it's the perception of independence. They say they're independent, and that's, that's fine. And I guess mostly they are. But the problem, I think the problem is that the times when it looks like they're not are uh, quite public and they're quite, um, they have major impact. That's why it comes out that way. So I think that should be, um, that should be the priority in this, in this legal year. Then there should be a concerted effort by the courts, by the judiciary, to clean up, um, to clean up those parts of, um, those parts that are giving the judiciary a bad name. That's the only way that you're going to build public trust because if the public doesn't have faith in the judiciary, if the public doesn't have faith in the courts, then I mean, what's the point of democracy? Because you feel like everything is sort of decided in advance before you even get there. If people start to feel that way, and a lot of people do feel that way, if, 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 and if the judiciary isn't doing anything to correct that perception, then it's not because the, the courts are supposed to be um, the institution that fights for the common person, regardless of their social standing or bank accounts or anything like that. But if people don't feel like that's what's actually happening, then we have a serious problem.